Coffee Break Chinese Season 1, Episode 33. Coffee Break Chinese. Brilliant. Crystal. Crystal was amazed there as I went through all of that without Indeed. without almost a mistake, I think. Maybe. <laughs> no, no mistake. No mistake. No mistake. All. No mistake. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. I'm Mark. I'm here with Crystal. And in these episodes, from lessons 31 to 40 of our series, you are joining me as I travel to China to put my Chinese into practice. First of all, Crystal, Okay, let's get on with today's lesson because today I am arriving at my hotel and checking into the hotel and using some of the vocabulary that we've covered in previous lessons, but also coming across some new expressions also with the help of Hongyu in China. Are we ready to get started? So as I explained, I am checking into the hotel and you can listen to this conversation and see how much you understand. And then, of course, we'll go through things in detail after that. Let's have a listen. Listen. Wachapenmarker. 电梯在大堂的右边。大堂是什么意思？大堂是lobby。啊，谢谢。Remember, you were going to ask about the internet. Internet 中文怎么说? To use the internet is 上网。上网。Okay。呃，好的，请问我可以上网吗？可以。密码是五八幺二八六五八。再说一遍。您可以上网密码是五八幺二八六五八。谢谢。Mark, do you want to know about 早餐? 早餐, is that like morning meal breakfast? 是的。Okay, uh, uh, 请问早餐几点开始? 早餐从早上七点到十点,餐厅在酒店二层,电梯的左边。非常感谢。Okay, now in this conversation, we've come across a, a number of phrases, words and expressions that we've covered in previous lessons when we were checking into hotels and learning all that kind of vocabulary. But there was also some new vocabulary in this too. Let's go back and start to listen to the conversation and we'll. I'd like you to identify what I had the reservation for my uh, you thing was, mm-hmm. was for what exactly. Let's have a listen. 下午好,欢迎您来酒店,您有预定吗? 下午好,我预定了带林友的单人间,我预定了五个晚上。Okay, so the receptionist began by welcoming me to the hotel, she said. 下午好,欢迎您来酒店。So, welcome you, come hotel. Mm-hmm. 欢迎您来酒店。and then she asked the question, 您有预定吗? So do you have a reservation? Mm-hmm. And I explained that I did have a reservation and I explained exactly what I had booked. 我预定了带林友的单人间 So I reserved 带林友的 That's a, with a shower mm-hmm. type of 单人间, single room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find that tricky when we go round the other way with a shower type of uh-huh. single room. Uh-huh. Uh, so, what you And then I also said how many nights I had booked it for. 
，我预定了五个晚上，嗯、mm. ，so 五个 five nights，、mm-hmm. yeah. Let's hear the whole of that in in good Chinese, please, Crystal. 下午好，我预定了带名誉的单人间。我预定了五个晚上。Okay, and as you would expect, the receptionist's next question was, "What is my name?" And she she didn't say 你叫什么名字 <laughs> She she used a, a more polite way、mm-hmm. of saying it. Let's let's have a listen. 您贵姓？我姓彭，我叫彭马克。好的。呃，对不起，现在没有单人间，但是有带浴缸的双人间，可以吗 ？Okay, so the receptionist asked me what was my surname.、Mm. She did it in a, a way that's slightly different from from normal. Can you can you give us this? Normally, you ask, 你叫什么名字 What is your name?、Mm-hmm. But in this case, she asked, 您贵姓？ We've covered we've covered this before in previous lessons. Gui means honourable. Xin、mm-hmm. surname, your honourable surname. Okay, so it's a polite way of asking、mm. for the the surname of, yeah, of someone. Yeah, so, and when you answer it, traditionally we would say Mian Gui Xin Peng. Mian is to take away the Gui. The honourable, so we be humble.、Okay. My name, my not so honourable name is Pen. Yeah, I understand. So you, you've you've been asked, what is your honourable name, please? And、yeah. said, oh, don't don't bother with、exactly. the honourable stuff,、exactly. you know.、Um, so give us that again. Mei Mian Gui、oh, Mian Gui Mian Gui.、Mm-hmm. Okay, and then you go say Xing、mm-hmm. Peng in,、yeah. in my case,、yeah. right? So in in this. Case I, I said in the conversation, 我姓彭，我叫彭马克 Perfect. So I gave the the full version of of my name.、Mm-hmm. Now the receptionist explained there was a little bit of a problem with the room. Crystal, can you give us this again?、Mm-hmm. Let's have a listen and see if we can identify what this problem is. 对不起，现在没有单人间，但是有带浴缸的双人间，可以吗？ So I guess this could be seen as a little bit of an upgrade, <laughs> in the sense that I'm not getting a single room with a shower, but I am getting a double room with a bath. So, dai yu gang de shuang ren jian, as opposed to the single room with a shower that I had booked, which、uh-huh. was, of course, dai ling yu de dan ren jian. Dai. Okay, so I said that that wasn't a problem. Mei wen ti. Let's listen on to the next part of the conversation. 没问题，请给我您的护照。给，谢谢，请给我您的信用卡。给，谢谢。Okay, so here the the receptionist asked me for the two things that you would expect to hand over when you're checking into hotel. First of all, uh, 我的护照 my passport,、mm-hmm. yeah. and then 我的信用卡。When she said that, she said it so quickly. I have to say, <laughs> let's listen again just to what she said, and we'll, we'll follow on to the next part where she gives me my my key. Try and spot if you can my room number. Thank you. Please give me your credit card. Okay. Thank you. This is your room number. Seven two bedroom. Please walk to the elevator to the seventh floor. Okay. The elevator is where? Okay, I'm asking about the tianti, so I'm guessing that the the floor is a little higher than、mm. the the sort of first floor of the hotel.、Um, what exactly was my room number, Crystal? Seven two bedroom. Okay, so you're just reading the numbers there. You're just saying seven two five very quickly. I may add,、um, so you wouldn't say seven hundred and twenty five. No, too complicated. Yeah. Okay, so in that case,、um, you well, what what does the the lady say? 这是您的房卡，七二五房间。So you're saying this is your key card,、mm-hmm. um, room number seven two five, and then she said something else. 请您坐电梯到七层。So I think what this is is please you take lift to seven floor.、Mm-hmm. Right. 请您坐电梯到七层。对 ，Right, it's quite tricky. I do ask, is there a lift, or where is the lift, rather? 好的，电梯在哪儿 ？Where is the lift? 
And uh, then the receptionist gives me the answer, but I need a little bit of help understanding. And I use that phrase that we learned a couple of lessons ago. Um, what is mm -hmm. such and such? Or mm -hmm. how do you say such and such in, in English? Let's have a listen. Thank you. This is your phone number. Okay, so I've recognized a word, da tang. I'm, I'm able to repeat that word. And when you're able to repeat the word, you can then add shi shen me yi si. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? Yeah. Okay, so the receptionist explains that uh, da tang shi lobby. It's mm. the lobby of the hotel. So I asked, I thank her for that. Now, the next part is where I'm going to ask a couple of questions about the, the facilities of the hotel, but that's going to be coming up after our break. So we'll be back in just a moment. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, indeed. We are checking into the hotel, and it's a great opportunity to be reviewing some of the vocabulary that we've covered in previous lessons, and also introducing a new word or two here and there. So we have checked in, um, and I'm just going to ask about a question. Hong Yu actually reminds me that I was going to ask about whether the internet is available in the hotel. So let's have a listen to this section. Remember, you were going to ask about the internet. Internet, Chinese, how do you to use the internet is 上网 uh, 上网, okay uh, 好的,请问 我可以上网吗? 可以,密码是 5812-8658 再说一遍 您可以上网, 密码是 5812-8658 谢谢 Okay, so there's another really useful phrase um, How do you say something in Chinese? Mm. I said, internet, literally, Chinese, how say. Mm. Okay, so, internet, uh, so, how do you say camera in Chinese? Camera, Okay, how do you say helicopter in Chinese? Helicopter, So, very, very useful. Another phrase that I was swatting up on the plane, I think, when I was traveling to China. So I asked internet how to say uh, internet in Chinese. And Hong Yu explained that to use the internet is shang wang, mm -hmm. something again that we've, we've covered in the past. I had just forgotten about it. So I asked, can I use the internet? Mm -hmm. And the receptionist replied, yes, you can indeed. And she gave me the password. Mm. So let's see. Chris will say this quickly, okay? Let's see if our listeners can identify exactly what the password is. Okay, right. We had uh, mm -hmm. so 581 uh, is the alternative one. Yeah. Two. Mm -hmm. And then ba. Yo, wo ba. Mm -hmm. No, not ba. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> so eight six five eight. Well done. I needed to write that down quickly mm. when she said it because she did say it quite quickly. In fact, I wanted her to repeat, so I said, "Zai shuo yi bian." I can you say it again, please? And she gave me the password once more. Let's listen to that little section one more time and and pay attention to those numbers. Qing wen, wo ke yi shang wang ma. Ke yi. 密码是五八幺二八六五八。再说一遍。您可以上网。密码是五八幺二八六五八。谢谢。Okay, okay, now Hong Yu reminds me of the other challenge he sent me. He wants me to ask about 
Zao Zan, which is the morning meal or breakfast and uh, when breakfast is available in the hotel. So have a listen to this section and see if you can identify exactly when breakfast is available. Mar, do you want to know about Zao Zan? Zao Zan, is that like morning meal breakfast? 是的. Okay, uh, uh, 请问, 早餐几点开始? 早餐从早上七点到十点, 餐厅在酒店二层, 电梯的左边。非常感谢. Did you spot that? Crystal, can you help us here? Yeah, 从早上七点到十点. So, uh, 从早上七点到十点, so, uh, from the morning 7 o'clock mm-hmm. until 10 o'clock. Okay. So, from 7 a.m. until 10 a.m., breakfast was available. She also gave some other information about the Tsanting, which is the, the, the dining, room. dining room, like cantina, I was thinking mm. it sounds like canteen. Um, let's listen to this little section again, see if you can work out where the restaurant is. 早餐从早上七点到十点, 餐厅在酒店二层, Okay, so what she said was that the restaurant or the, the dining room is on the second floor of the hotel mm-hmm. on the left side of the lift. Is that correct? So can you explain this for us, Crystal, here? Okay. So she said, 餐厅, the restaurant or the dining room, 在 at mm-hmm. 酒店, the hotel, 二层, Second floor, mm-hmm. the elevator of Zuobian left. Okay. Left side of the elevator. Great. So the restaurant of the hotel is on the second floor on the left side of the lift or the elevator. Yes. Excellent. Right. You know what's going to happen here. We're going to listen to the whole conversation once more. By this time, we've gone through everything, so hopefully you'll understand the whole conversation. There's one actual, one final thing, because I said thank you very much, and that's not a phrase we've covered in the whole of Coffee Break Chinese. We've said thank you many, many times, but we've never said uh, extreme thanks, many thanks, using the fei chang that we've used many times, but fei chang hao, but we can say fei chang gan xie, thank you very much. So listen out for that at the end of this conversation. Xiao 给谢谢请给我您的信用卡给谢谢这是您的房卡七二五房间请您坐电梯到七层好的电梯在哪儿电梯在大堂的右边大堂是什么意思大堂是lobby啊谢谢remember you were going to ask about the internet internet中文怎么说 to use the internet is 上网 uh, 上网, okay. Uh, 好的, 请问, 我可以上网吗? 可以, 密码是 再说一遍, 您可以上网, 密码是 Mark, do you want to know about 早餐? 早餐, is that like morning meal breakfast? 是的 Okay, uh, uh, 请问, 早餐几点开始? 早餐从早上七点到十点, 餐厅在酒店二层, 电梯的左边。非常感谢。There we have it, another episode of Coffee Break Chinese, and we hope that you're enjoying these episodes, which feature different voices, and, and hopefully that's given you a, a little more exposure to different accents, different speeds, because sometimes they speak very, very fast. Yes. That's what I was finding anyway. 
Of course, there's lots more to this lesson. You can access the lesson notes, the video version and the bonus audio, which will help you practice what we've covered in the main lesson. And there are some additional translation challenges in that. And you can find out all about that at coffeebreakchinese.com. Remember, you can access our Facebook page at facebook.com slash coffeebreakchinese, where we post regular cultural information about what's happening in China. There are also language challenges, so 你们可以练习中文. You can practice your Chinese there. That's exactly what I've been doing in China. Uh, Okay, don't forget too that we have our YouTube channel at Coffee Break Languages and that's where you can see the video content that we've created in China and indeed our other languages too. So that's youtube.com slash coffeebreaklanguages. That's it for this episode. 谢谢,再见。谢谢,再见。You have been listening to a production of the Copy Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>